we're doing is we're writing a buying guide. In this case, we call it a specific buying guide or a buying guide sub. So if you open up the spreadsheet, you'll see here it says buying guide sub or specific buying, buying guide. Now, look at the article length. It's 3,000 words. And in this case, it's going to be on best infant travel system. Now, if you come across here, you'll see there's various products, different product categories. In this case, there's products travel systems. Here we've got 20... Um, travel systems and these are the links to all the various products here and the price the rating and the review so what you want what do you want you to do is we don't want you to include all 20 because the person who's looking for this they don't want to read about 20 different travel systems so maybe this one's for jogging um, but they're actually wanting something for infant in this case the primary term is about infant travel systems so what you're going to do is you're going to go through all 20 of these and identify the top five or ten that relate to this particular keyword, i.e. in this case, which are the best ones of these 20, which are the best for infants? And you're going to write an article about that, 3,000 words long. So let's look at an example. This is another example. It's not about travel systems. This is about 3D printing pens. So you first look at what it is, then you look at how does it work, and then what are the best pens in 2017? And then we've include, you include a table with a couple of core features. Notice you never mention the price. So in your text, please note, do never ever mention the price. You can refer to it as low, medium, or high, or check the price, or get the lowest price, but never refer to the specific price. In this case, $135. Prices change regularly, so you cannot put a specific number in. You can say low, medium, or high. So what you're going to do is, in this case, they've reviewed 10 3D printing pens. This 3D Simo Mini. And they've written about it. They like the pros and the cons. And they've looked at another one and the pros and the cons and another one. All the way down to 10. And at the end of the article, there will be a conclusion and a wrap up. Um, and then 3D versus something else. So just really, really, really comprehensive article about printing pens. So what we're requiring from you is to take this keyword, best infant travel system. Please don't worry about all the rest of this. We'll explain this later in the process. You don't need it now. Um, what you might find useful is article sources here. So look at those, please, those article sources. There they are. But what we want you to do is identify, open up travel systems and find the top five or ten that of these travel systems that are suitable for infants. And we want you to write a 3,000 word article. What you're going to do is you're going to open up our template. In this case, at the top here, here's the demo that we're referring to. You're going to put in a headline, uh, a subheadline, what the product is, i.e. if it's about travel system. What is a travel system, actually? How does a travel system work? Um, how we chose the five products for to review for the infant travel system. So you're writing about infant travel systems. You need to talk about what, how did you choose those five? You know, was it about... Um, you know, flexibility, weight, durability, safety, or what factors did you choose when you looked at all these 20 travel systems and you said these are the top five for infants? How did you come to that decision? Please list that over here so people know, okay, you looked at that. That makes sense. What are the key aspects or considerations you chose when you put together this buying guide? Insert a table. As I've said, it looks a little bit like this. You list the 10 products. You look feature one, feature two, feature three. Um, you put that in there. And then we're going to come across here to the actual product reviews, the best 10 products of 2017. So if you look down here, they start looking at the individual reviews. So what I've done is I've said, use what you need from this template. Now we have another template that's called an affiliate product details, where you actually look at a product in detail. Um, and it gives you a very nice template. So you write a headline about the product, um, this infant in the, this is about work boots in particular, Timberland work boot review, sub headline, you do a quick summary of it. So when you're doing the product one over here, product one, put it in its own section like they've done here, product one, except we use this template where you put a summary of it, just a quick summary box, one sentence, one sentence, one sentence, make those bold so people go, oh, that's fantastic. Talk about what we like, talk about what we don't like. A call to action, uh, click to see the lowest price, just put that in. Write an introduction. Talk about the problems and how the product solved it. Talk about a pain point. Who is it for? Um, so if you're writing about infants, say this particular one is designed for infants. Or you can say this particular travel system is actually designed for children one years and above. But remember that it can be, it'll last all the way till they're five. 
So it can be used for infants, but it has a much longer use. Whatever it is, I don't really know the niche, so um, what I'd include there. Just identify who it's for. Introduce the solution. Use some bullet points. How does What feature does the product have? One, two, and three. Um, call to action. You can put a testimonial in here. Please always include a couple of product cons. Um, you might include alternatives, you might not, um, and you will include the conclusion for the product over there. And that will be product one, i.e. you're doing this review, we've just got a few more headings in ours, we do like a few more headings than that big chunk of text. So you would then obviously do product one. Then when you've done product number two, let's say you've decided you like um, the Evenflow Vive travel system with an embrace, write it into this template, Again, you're going to have to keep it short and sweet. Um, it's probably around 250 to 300 words. Put it in there. That's product two done, and you will continue. I've said 250 words. If you're doing 10, if you're doing five, you obviously only must make you must make this 500. The article needs to be 3,000 words long. So let's look at how do you know what to write? What are the pros? What are the cons? So in this template here, we talk about. Um, what are the features of the product? So open up the product in Amazon, it looks like that. Go, okay, great, this looks like it's got two colors, Pains, the Enhanced Tooth. A little bit about the product, you can obviously go and read a bit more about that. Remember, we've also got this over here for you, article sources here, where there's a little bit more information on the topic. But when you're looking at a specific product, the way you do it is you look at this, 199 customer reviews. Read through this, it tells you exactly what you get. Uh, okay, simple glance over instructions. Okay, so this is very easy to uh, put in and put out. Okay, straps, there we go, there's a feature. The straps are really easy, so it's quick. Um, it's very affordable for the features that it has. Okay, so this has got great looks, easy to set up, five minutes Oh, here's a feature, I can do it by myself. So you don't need two people to set up this. And then you start reading, reading. And if you need, obviously, there's a section here, what we don't like. Uh, we don't like, well, just come down to the reviews that are two or three stars. So you can add a filter here to the one, two, and three stars. Put that in. That's obviously what we don't like. And so you would do work your way through this. And at the end of it, you're going to have a 3,000-word article. What I'd like you to do is place it in a folder, place it in the folder, completed content for review, put it in here. So in this case, you'll create a new folder and it will be called a uh, homepage. Oh, no, no, this is not a homepage, sorry. Specific buying guide, infant travel systems. Then we know, and then we will review that. Just let us know when we need to review that. Um, and one of the things I want you to please check is that at the bottom here, we have a few checks we'd like you to do. Just please read these, you know, writing web versus print. Basically, it says use lots of bullets. Um, focused on the benefits of the user. I don't always talk about our company. Just talk about, you know, focus. Don't use we, us, and our. Rather, always use you when you're doing um, writing text. And then finally, run it through Grammarly to fix your spelling and grammar. Again, formatting. Here's some formatting checks. Just go through those, neaten it up. And remember that you're a new writer, so we're going to get you just to write the article. Just make sure that you can complete it, this, uh, complete it into the template, pass those tests, and later we will share a process where there's a couple more check tests that we do. Just want to make you aware of them. Um, you know, things like where you complete the title, the description over there, you put a headline and an article, and then you check, is your headline decent? This is Grammarly, obviously it should have passed, and then we just check you haven't stuffed keywords. Um, it's a check most 99% of the time, it's fine. Um, we just need to make sure that you haven't used the word best infant travel system. So you haven't said this is the best infant travel system. If you're looking for a good infant travel system, if you're um, reviewing the best infant, it's just too repetitive. So we just check the density there. But these are a couple of minor checks that we do. Um, you will see them all over there. And that's something we do once we've reviewed your article and once you're in the flow, um, and that's how we'll do it. What we're going to do is we're going to need you to go through all of these articles over there. This, every column represents an article, but that's for another time. Uh, let's just get the first one done.